now secondly what i'll do is now i will drop a perpendicular from a to dash to the locus of a like this and i will mark this point as a2 then again what i will do is i will join from b i will join a2 this is another true length now tl and tl that is both true lengths both green, green lines are equal both green lines are equal in length why because they both are true lengths okay so let's move ahead now what i have to do is i have my true length the next thing that was required from me was that i had to draw uh, or say i had to find out the inclination of true lengths with hp as well as vp so what i'll do is one this is my uh, this is one of my true lengths and this is one of my true lengths so i will measure the angle a1 b a2 which will give me the inclination with vp this angle theta 1 will give me the inclination with what with my vp and then similarly i will measure the angle a2 dash b dash and a2 oh sorry a2 dash b dash and a1 dash again a2 dash b dash and a dash which is this angle which will be theta 2 it will give me my true inclination with the horizontal plane that is hp which is something of this sort theta 2 so uh, what was required uh, from me in the question it was required to draw the projection uh, to draw the projection and find the inclination of the uh, both the uh, both HP and VP that I did theta one and theta two, and also find the true length. So the green line, if you measure the green line, we will have the true length. If you measure theta one, we will have inclination with VP, and if you measure theta two, we will have inclination with HP. So now, if the end projectors are given to you and the length of the projections are given then you will be certainly able to find out the true length the angle with hp as well as the angle with vp so this was the uh, solution of the problem number four that we discussed using end projectors okay so now the coming three problems we are going to solve on paper and i'm actually going to tell you that what are the different steps of how to solve the problem on paper that is okay so first discuss let's discuss example number five okay so now example number five what it tells us that it says the top view and front view of the line cd measures 65 mm and 53 mm respectively the line is inclined to hp by 30 degrees and to vp by 45 degrees the end c is on the hp and 12 mm in front of vp and d is in the first quadrant draw the projection of line cd and find the true length so this is given to us now how we will draw this on paper now what is given to us in the question is that the front view and the top view is given and the length is given so we'll use again we'll use the projections to find the true length and then what we will uh, follow the reverse process of the original third question that we did okay so let's move Hmm. so this is my paper how am i going to do this first of all i'm going to draw my line x y okay yes then it is said that the end c is on hp and 12 mm in front of vp so if my uh, point c is on hp then my top view will actually be on line x y itself so i will mark this point as say c dash okay now the next thing that is given to me is that uh, it is 12 mm in front of vp so if it is 12 mm in front of vp then it will be what it will be at a distance of 12 mm
below x y that is my this point okay chal then next thing that we are going to do is that we have the length of the uh, we have the length of front view as well as top view so now we i am going to draw the front view first that is uh, it is in hp itself so my front view will be on the line xy so using this red pen i will draw this line and i will mark this point as d2 dash okay d2 dash and this is what this is my i'll mark it with red this is my front view okay now i have to draw what i have to draw my top view top view is also given to me so what i will do is from this line this is how much this is 53 mm given to me it says that uh, the front top view and front view are 65 and uh, 53 mm so i have drawn my front view at 53 mm and i will draw my this is how much this is 65 mm and this is what this is my top view okay chalo then next thing that we are going to do is we will now we have our front view and uh, we have our uh, top view so we will draw lines from d to I'll, i'm sorry i'm not marked this this is d and this is d1 and these this is one of the projectors okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw lines from d2 i'm going to do, draw line below i'll use the pen and from d1 i'm going to draw line above okay so i have done this now i have two things that is given to me the about the original line about the original line it is given the line is inclined to hp by 30 degrees and to vp by 45 degrees so i have my first points now using these points what i'll do is i'll draw different lines first for the front view i'll take the angle which is there with hp and i will draw a simple line and i will let it i will draw a line at 30 degrees and i'll let it intersect this line okay so from there i'll take 30 degrees and i'll draw the line this is how much this is 30 degrees okay and i will mark this as d1 dash similarly the angle with vp that is given is how much is 45 degrees so i'll take 45 degrees from this point and i will let it go and intersect here which is my d2 okay yeah and this is at an angle of Forty-five degrees. Next, next. What we are going to do is that once we have the drawn the lines and we have taken thirty degrees and forty-five degrees, we are going to draw locus. Now, we are, uh, for drawing the locus, we are going to draw the locus of D one, uh, D one dash, and D two. So I'll take this orange and I'll draw a simple straight line passing through D one. This will be what? This will be locus of D one. and i'll draw a straight line and this will be what this will be locus of d2 now using this length that is c 
D1, the radius being C D1, keeping C, uh, C and D1, I will draw what I will draw, uh, I will draw a, a radius which will intersect uh, this locus at say somewhere around this point. If I draw the if I take this radius and I draw, what will happen? Uh, like this this point will come here and this will be D and if I join this line I will have CD which will be my plan and similarly if I take this radius and I extend this a bit I will take radius uh, C dash and D2 dash and I will cut this line here at D dash and this is what this is my elevation so this is the solution of the problem that we have as our fifth problem I hope there are no doubts I will leave it there for a bit for you to see and if you are drawing it along with me then please complete the figure okay the next uh, question that we are going to discuss problem number six now this is another interesting problem that is there yes a line vh is 70 mm long and has its end v in vp and and h in hp now one end is in vp and one end is in hp so it is inclined to both and it is going to be parallel to what it is going to be parallel to it is going to be parallel to the profile plane okay. it's going to be parallel to the profile plane so and the uh, this is given that uh, hp is uh, is inclined to hp at 60 degrees and it is inclined to VP by 45 degrees. Now we have to draw its projection. Now the data given is quite small, but the meaning that is being conveyed by this long data is very large. Let us see it on paper. What is it saying is that if I draw it, if I draw quadrants, if I draw these quadrants, and I say this is the first quadrant this is is it is in first quadrant and this is my say HP and this is my VP then what is it saying that one of the point is in VP and one of the point is in HP so what happens is that it, it is making angles one angle this is theta as I will draw the line it is some something of this sort it is making theta 1 and theta 2 so these are the two angles that it is making so what is given to us is theta 1 is given theta 2 is given and the true length is given so tl is given so this is the data that is given to us and we have to draw what we have to draw projections so drawing the projection is quite easy for this why because we are going to consider the side view and we are going to draw the projection using the side view rather than the uh, front view and the top view and we will on these hp and vp we will get our uh, front view and uh, top view using our profile plane analysis okay so i have got uh, received a few colorful sketch pens so we are going to use different colorful sketch pens to solve the problem first the first step in any problem is to draw the line xy but I am not going to draw line x y I am going to draw the x axis that is x x dash and I am going to draw what I am going to draw the y axis that is y y dash oh sorry the y axis dash will come here ok so I have basically drawn an x y coordinate but this is not an x y coordinate this is the h p 
and this is what this is vp now uh, i have the true length of the line so i have to fit this line somewhere here like this i have to fit this line on this axis in such a manner that it makes this angle has this angle that it makes uh, this angle that it makes has to be 30 degrees and this angle that it makes this angle that it makes has to be 60 degrees so i know this is 90 degrees so, so if i am uh, making a triangle then the sum of the three uh, uh, angles has to be one two and three angles has to be what has to be nine uh, has to be uh, 180 degrees so this is what it is this is a right angle and this is 30 degrees and this is 60 degrees so i have a right angle i have a right angle whose hypotenuse is 70 70 mm long so either i can do my trial and error method either i can use my uh, square root method to determine the sides that is this side and this side using my hypotenuse and either you can use your trial and error method what i'll do is i'll use my trial and error method and i will uh, use my scale and say where 70 mm comes in such a way that these both angles are making uh, uh, 30 degrees and 60 degrees if you take a line and draw it at 30 degrees so it will be intersecting this line at 60 degrees and you make sure that that uh, length is uh, 70 mm and this is what i'll do i'll use a, a trial and error method and this is what i'll get this point and this point i'll name it as v1 dash and h1 dash this is the true length which is equal to 70 mm okay and this angle this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees okay then what the projection will be look like see if I put th if this is my observer I first put my observer on the top that is my top view so what it will see is it will see a shadow of these two points being casted here 